Last time I was with Ray and Sean, it was exactly what I wanted and expected. Take them up and bring them back down. Challenge them mentally. Show them something new, but most importantly, make them uncomfortable. They struggled, had fun, and through it all, we became a little bit closer. Always giving them life lessons in the process. However, it's time for another go around. There you go, Riken. Change, come on, come on, come on, get out of there, get out of there. You good? <laughs> this year is different because they're all getting older, getting closer and closer to becoming adults, even now. With me knowing that, the workload has to increase. The workload is the biggest thing that they'll have to overcome. It's going to be a good week. We need to make sure that eye contact when I'm talking. Uh, we want to grow as people and as basketball players. And not only that, just have a lot of fun throughout the week. We got a lot of help. We got a lot of experiences that we're going to actually go through um, throughout the next seven days. And just enjoy it because, you know, it may never happen again, you know? It's over for like, I taught you guys a little bit how to dribble and all that type of stuff. We just gotta be able to hit shots now. You guys got that? Um, we're gonna really focus in on shooting the basketball this week. Um, while still, you know, getting busy with the handle or whatnot, we're going to really like lock in. I want you guys to see what it's like to train like a pro. Like, a, you guys wanna play professional? Yes. Do you really wanna do it? You sure you wanna do it? All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how to train like a pro. Sometimes it's not always suit working super hard or it's not, it's working smart. You guys understand that? Understanding that we need to be able to hit shots, um, understand that we need to work as a team. Speaking of a team, we have people that are gonna help you uh, get better this week, a lot of people. I don't compare my training to anybody else's. I just know that how we operate here is how I want things to be done. Because I'm more concerned with these kids turning into men one day giving them responsibilities, challenging them on the court, teaching them how to win, and most importantly, holding them accountable for the things that they do wrong. And I'm harsh. But I know through life experiences that life will punish these kids a lot harder than I can. I'm believing that one day, the things I do in this house will make everything click on the court. Things for them get shaky when they had to do things that are foreign. Running the beach, you can't see the results right away. So normally the attitude is, why am I doing this? Especially for kids. 
Cornell brings a different expertise to the field. He connects with people differently than I do. And one thing for certain, he's smart as heck. He's got so much info to give to these guys that I'm sure if they take to it, they'll build into the athletes that I know that they could be. And these beach workouts, they get you right. So even I'm hopping in. I'm about to be out here struggling. No. <laughs> I not feel like doing what he about to have us doing, but I know I got to do it. So I'm trying to get this bounce up, baby. We're about to run off some calories, burn off some calories so we could- uh, You definitely got to run off some calories <laughs> on your birthday, boy. You know, so we can make room. So we can make room for our cheat day. Birthday. My Ask birthday. what he ate for his birthday. Today. What we all ate. What you eat? Today. What, what? Did after. we have dessert? <laughs> wow. Well, nah, I'm just, I ate some fruit. I had edible arrangements. <laughs> uh, my sis blessed me with that. And uh, I'm about to put this work in. Y'all ready? Tell me anything that y'all feel like I got better at today? Y'all get better today or no? My legs. Yeah. What'd you learn? Like, what'd you, what'd you do? That's gonna reactions. help you with your game. My reaction. Okay, what up? What like you learn? Like switching learned? and turning on, like when it, like when a, um, like when a player's like dribbling, like when you switch your hips on defense. Why is that beneficial? So, like, so, the faster and stuff. Yeah, you could cut them off. So what did we do today that you could use tomorrow on the court with them? What's one thing that you did today that can help you to for tomorrow? The defense slides, yeah. Why is that important? Because uh, defense is important. Huh? Defense is but important. But how is that going to help you for tomorrow? Um, because it helps out with, like, pushing. We can't hear you. Uh, uh, I don't like know. When we play one-on-one. -on -one, it's okay. The king of the court, like, we play one-on-one. -on -one, so what, what about that? Like, to stop the offense player. I can't even hear you. To can stop. you hear me? You're a point guard. We gotta be able to hear you. To stop the offensive player. So how is it going to? How is that going to stop off the offensive player? What did you do today? What did you do today? Like what? Show me. Show me what you did today. So that's going to help you for tomorrow. Yeah. All right. That's good. That's all I wanted to see. So basically, that's what we're going to focus on. Just trying to give you guys stuff that you could use to help you on the court with them. Um, strengthening the legs, being explosive, reacting, changing uh, speeds, changing directions. Um, Mainly reacting. You go. You guys are going to play against guys bigger than him, bigger than him, bigger than myself. Especially what grade you're going to? Six. Yeah. So they got some eighth graders like what six five now? Three. Six three. Five. five. <laughs> you know what I mean? Especially. So we just kind of want to get you guys in the mindset of getting used to playing guys bigger, stronger, faster, and, until you guys hey, continue to build your uh, skill set to become bigger, stronger, faster as well. So I thought y'all did great today. Good. You guys did great. Just got to be better at paying attention, right? Mm -hmm. Being a leader, you did a good job when you start getting everybody in the huddle so we know you're capable of being a good leader. And you guys all are. You got it? Yes. Does anybody want to say something? You want to say anything? It helps to have people who grind with you. For kids, I think it's important that they experience hard times together. It provides memories that you can't forget. It's important for Sean and Ray to remember one thing. And it's a mindset I always try to have. I'm not working out with you. You're working out with me. I tell everybody the same thing. Working out on the sand dunes a few times doesn't actually get you guys any better. It's consistency that's key here. They only got a little bit of time with me, so it's not their bodies that I'm trying to train. It's their minds. Anybody who comes down here on these short trips, my goal is to get them to where they want to quit. But don't. This hill, it mainly just reveals how tough of a person that you are. Here's the deal. So I'm not working. You guys are. You guys are working out with me. All right. So just keep up. You got it. You may get tired. Just don't quit. That's pretty much it. Simple as that. Just stay with me. All right. We're ready. All right. We're headed to the top orange cone. If you can go past me, go past me. If you can't, just try to stay with me. You got it. Walking or? 
Huh? Wait, how? Brandon? Yeah, stay with me. Yeah. Yeah. Any more questions before we start up? No. Frankie, I know you're the question, man. Go ahead. <laughs> you sure you can't muster up anything? Uh. Okay, well, let's go. You good? Can't even talk. Just push, all right? You guys got it? Just push. Fast as you can go. Beat me. Be faster than me. Set. Go. Try to stick with me. They did good. It's just uh, this is a different type of condition. If you ain't used to, I've been doing it, so I'm chilling. But like them, they ain't been doing it, so it's gonna be tough. Like look at them. Understand that? Yeah. Also, you're gonna need to make sure the toilets aren't just super dirty. You got it. So clean that. Clean all the way around the toilets. There's dirt all over there. So that's on you. If you guys don't do it right, just come back and do it again. All right, walk me through what I just told you. So we have to, we have to clean this and then clean my the wipes and then clean the um, sink and then make this look neater. Mm -hmm. Clean and then the mirrors and then do There's no way I let somebody come train with me at this age and not have some responsibilities, especially for a person who doesn't know what it's like to have any. If you're grown, okay. But Ray and Sean, they don't know what it's like to live in the real world. Having them cook, take out trash, make up their beds, just to help them build good habits. That's it. They may not completely understand this in 10 days, but my job is to get them on the right foot. All right, so basically what we're gonna do is we need to test your IQ. Basketball is more than just playing it. You need to understand what stuff is. So when you go to the next level, coach is gonna spend less time coaching you. You, got, you guys understand? They expect you to know certain things. All right, so you need to understand certain terminology. You guys know what floppy or you know what floppy action is. You know what down screens are. You know what pick and rolls are. You know all that stuff. That just name. Yeah. You know what a flare screen is. I don't know is. what the floppy is. Yeah, you know what a flare screen is. Yeah. Or like when you like kind of a little fake screen and then roll quickly, kind of. Not necessarily. So like, that's my job. I need to be able to teach you that type of stuff. So, you guys got phones? Uh, yeah. Grab your phones. Film is everything for guys this young. We live in a world where information is spread so easy. Highlights. They're so accessible that you can tend to stop watching full games and only watch the high points, which is problematic because kids need to see pros make mistakes. So when we watch film, I got to show them the good, the bad, and the ugly. It'll be a lot easier for them to pass the test when they're able to look at the answers beforehand. When it comes to Los Angeles basketball, the Drew League is one of the staples. What most people don't know is, the Drew is full of talent. Guys that play D1 basketball, pro players, you name it. The best of the best come through, and it's free. It's something that younger kids need to see being that they can get so close to the action. I want that to both motivate and instill a little fear in them. Seeing how close they are to them, while also seeing how far the gap is in skill and size. The goal is for it to motivate them to work, like it would have done for me when I was young. But today is good because they get to see a kid play, one that I think is top five in the NBA draft next year.
My job is just to make sure that they were actually paying attention. I sent them early this morning to check out a, a workout with a couple of pro guys who've been in the game for a while. Um, and I wanted to, you know, really watch Fujita, especially like a uh, little Sean. Just watch the workout, take notes, and just see what it really takes to become a pro, the type of work that they need to do. Um, they took a lot of notes. They got here and explained everything to me. Um, and I even have, have some questions for them, which is always great. So hopefully they can continue to get better um, and take this information that we learned on this trip throughout this week back to San Francisco or wherever they live. So fun is cool, but I need to make sure that they get better. And I think that we definitely got better this week. Oh, we have to do, it's like the Dwayne Wade, but like it's under, so like. All right, so like the first thing you do is like you dribble, then you step with the left. And then like you, you like you, you like let the ball hang and then you go. Like you hesitate a little bit. Okay. And then right. you let the ball hang. Reverse lit uh Euro. So you go like crossover and then you do your stuff. You like push it to the other side. Finish with your right. Finish with your right. There's an old saying. To teach is to learn twice. And what it means is by me telling you something that I've just learned or already know. I'm not only teaching you, but I'm reassuring myself. At some point, my workouts are built almost entirely upon this. Each one, teach one, passing down information. By having them teach each other, unknowingly they're getting mental reps. It's like when you get in trouble and you have to write standards. By repeating an action over and over, you're less likely to make a mistake again. How uh, we're not worrying about nothing with the height, right? Yeah. We just playing ball. Anybody's gonna be. We don't look at height. What we look at? There we go. All here. If everybody has this, I don't care if you're here or there, you're not gonna be able to stop me at all. But you gotta believe it. You gotta continue to encourage yourself. You don't need nobody else to praise you. You praise yourself. All right. So like, if you grow, which you are, you're gonna grow. But imagine you growing and having this same type of skills that we're doing. It's gonna be unstoppable. But you gotta believe. You, you can't get discouraged. Ain't no time being afraid. We always strong and courageous. All right? And believe, man. I don't care if these guys are bigger or who, do, who cares. Who is an important piece, especially for Sean? Why? Because in the basketball world, he's considered really short. But he made it to the NBA. Which the chances of people doing that at his height is unbelievably low. But Poole is proof. He's the blueprint. Because he got it out the mud. Whenever Sean gets down, loses confidence, I always want him to think of As tough as I could be on a player, I also understand that basketball is a game, not a job. And this life should be about enjoying it no matter what. Every coach, every trainer, every parent has to remember that kids will come back if they know they're going to have fun. Once basketball becomes a chore, kids turn away. And at the end of the day, I want them to enjoy their experience here. And more importantly, enjoy being a kid. Is that what you? I got you, bro. Hey, good 
Good things happen to good people. Winner, winner. <laughs> the last 10 days were dope. They got better whether they realized it or not. Obviously, I wish I had more time, but not now. They wore me the heck out as much as I wore them out. It's fun watching them grow, but I'm glad to see them come, and I'm glad to see them go. Have fun with this sport, whether you make it or not. Cherish the memories. Humble yourself and learn as much as you can, because no matter how far you go in the sport, you won't be able to play forever. I used to want to make it big in this sport, but when I fell short, I thought that I was a failure. I think you know the story though. But the best thing that I found out was, I thought the destination was the payoff. It never was. It's a journey that you appreciate when everything is said and done.